Well, good afternoon and thank you for joining us for the first CFI Now COVID-19 and the latest consumer trends. Uh, I'm your host, Charlie Arnott. I'm CEO of the Center for Food Integrity, a nonprofit organization whose sole mission is to help the food system earn consumer trust. So going forward, each Friday at 1 o'clock p.m., this will be must-see TV, uh, 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time, I'm going to be joined by Susan Schwale, Executive Director of Food and Beverage Consumption for the NPD Group. Welcome, Susan. Hi, thanks, Charlie. Bet. And for those of you who are not familiar, NPD Group is a leading market research and consumer insights company that each and every week releases research on market trends. That's the focus of CFI Now, uh, keeping you on top of weekly consumer research in the food industry in this rapidly changing environment. Susan is also a founding member of the new CFI Trust Insights Council, uh, a group of consumer insights experts and social scientists who explore emerging trends to provide insights to inform strategy for the food system. And you will be hearing more about and seeing more from the CFI Consumer Trust Insights Council in the not too distant future. All right, so Susan, let's get the ball rolling. Tell us what you are seeing this week. Wow, you know, it's, uh, it's changing very, very rapidly. I think all of us are trying to, um, you know, just get our feet underneath us um, because every day feels like a week and um, things roll along. I do have fresh off the press information for you on what's happening with food service traffic. Um, that is an area that uh, we collect information in. And I want to give you updates on what we're seeing from a macro retail perspective, then food service specifically, and then I'll have some comments on what's going on in home, um, particularly with stockpiling. Uh, food service, uh, clearly this is an industry uh, that is, um, it's, I don't even want to say struggling. Um, it's really tragic what's what's happening right now. Um, I, have, I have numbers. So... The first, um, the week of ending the 15th of March, we saw the beginning of the broad closures starting. I think it was around the 13th or 14th that uh, governors and municipalities started shutting things down. And we saw an 8% decline um, in traffic. But I just got the data um, this morning through March ending uh, the 22nd. And what we're seeing now is a much more um, dire picture. So total food service, this is commercial food service traffic, is down 36%. Wow. So there's 36% fewer trips going on. Now that's delivery, that's on-premise. We know that that's mostly because of on-premise, right? Um, QSR is the lion's share of commercial food service, so they're down 34%. But when we talk about the full-service restaurants, um, our casual dining, our fine dining, the mid-scale, um, there's, there's a lot of hurt going on there. Full service restaurants are down 71%. We would expect that there would be more delivery as there's less on-premise dining. We, we saw that very clearly in China. China is a whole different capacity um, for digital ordering and delivery than the United States has. So um, it's a mixed bag. You would think it would be flying, delivery would be going off, um, off the charts, if you will. But interestingly, with a lot of Gen Z's home from colleges and universities, they are hyper users of digital and delivery. They're just not doing that right now.